We're here with Amelia Oldfield, the uh, uh, Region 7A champion, who just completed a race today at the uh, state cross country meet. Amelia, tell me about your race today. Well, I didn't feel as good as I thought I would. I thought the course was easier than it actually was. And I just, I'm not used to running in the cold because I we didn't really have any cold meets this year. So I just felt like my legs couldn't go. But I finished the race. <laughs> So. Well, it's tough. I mean, you know, what do you do when uh, the weather changes? Do you have a ritual to, to go through or just kind of wing it? I just kind of wing it. Uh, with respect to uh, this season, uh, what's your thoughts about this season? Best memory? I think the best memory was definitely whenever we found out we won region champions because, like, we kind of heard unofficially before you all announced it, and we all got super excited. And so that was the best memory for this season. Excellent. Um, now, are you going to run in any national races this year? I don't think so. Well, congratulations on a wonderful cross-country season. Look forward to seeing you run in the track. Thank you. Hadley, you're a senior. Yes. Tell me about your uh, last state meet here at uh, Kentucky High School Athletic Association. Well, it was bittersweet because this is actually my first state meet because this is my first year I ran cross-country. And uh, running cross-country was a really good decision. I'm glad I can make it here with my team. Great. Uh, what other sports do you do? Uh, well, track, and I used to do volleyball. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, what uh, events do you run in track? Um, the 800, and I'm hoping to get into a distance this year, 16 and 32. So upon graduation, what's your plans post-graduation? Um, I do not know my plans post-graduation. I don't know what college I want to attend. I think I'm going to be going pre-med track, most likely. Oh, really? Uh, have you looked at any schools yet? Um, a few. Well, congratulations to you on a first cross-country season, and look forward to seeing you on the track. We're here with uh, Jalen Gibson with Bath County's uh, cross-country team. Jalen, tell me a little bit about your race today. Um, it was different. Okay, why was it different? Uh, just the gravel and the sand and everything. Yeah, yeah, there's not a lot of courses like that. Um, how did you uh, prepare for today's race? Well, we walked it the other day, so that helped us. Now, uh, with respect to uh, goals for this season, what were your goals? To be above 26. Just okay. To stay in the range. And uh, did you achieve your goals? Yeah. Excellent. Uh, JC, um, how long have you run cross country? Uh, this is my eighth year. Wow, long time, and you're a senior, so a lot of memories, a lot of emotions here. Yeah. Um, what? Um, tell me about this season. Uh, it was a very difficult season because it was my last, and I've been doing it for so long. But it's been amazing just to like work with my team and to lead up to regions and be working hard all season. And we finally got region champions, and we worked so hard to get there. And it's just an amazing team environment. Well, that was really cool to get uh, on your senior year that region championship. Yeah. Um, Today's race, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about your strategy today. Well, uh, I had a hip injury, so I really didn't want to go out there and hurt it more for track season. So my goal is just to go out there and have fun and try my hardest and leave it all out there on the course. Excellent. Well, congratulations. Y'all had a wonderful season, regional uh, champs, and then also running here at the state meet. Thank you. We're here with Madison in Bath County. Madison, tell me a little bit about your race today. It was difficult. And why was it difficult? Because uh, it was it was very like hilly and like wavy like that. Okay. And uh, what uh, what did you do to prepare for today's meet? Uh, I drank a lot of water and then and I and I stretched my trousers stretched. Tell me about the mental preparation on this. Uh, what goes through your head uh, the day before the meet? I'm going, I don't know. I'm going to try my best or I don't know. Um, you uh, you got more seasons left in you. You're in what grade? Eighth. Eighth grade. Um, you gonna do track? I. What's your uh, what events do you run in track? Usually like the 1600 and the 800. Great. Well, congratulations on a wonderful season, Madison. Look forward to seeing you run more for Bath County. We're here with Chloe Pelfrey from Bath County. Chloe, tell me about your race today. It wasn't as much as I. It wasn't my best, but I can do better on that in the time. And uh, today, uh, great weather for running. Um, tell me, uh, tell me about what was going through your head uh, while you're out there running. I can do this and have fun while trying to do your best. 
Now, with respect to your season, it's a challenging season. We all know that. Uh, what was the uh, best part of the uh, 2020 COVID cross country season? Well, it was that we could go and we could practice at the high school and have fun and meet everybody and get to talk with everybody. So the social aspects of it? Well, great. Congratulations on a wonderful season, Chloe. We're here with Izzy Hughes from Bath County. Izzy, tell me about your race today. Uh, it was good. It wasn't my best, but it's better than I thought I was going to do, I guess. Well, it's kind of hard to come back and get a regional title and then have your next best race right back to back like that. So uh, tell me what the regional title means to you. It means so much. It's my second year winning regions. And I'm an eighth grader, so it's like both years I've won. Well, that's fantastic. So proud of the Bath County program. Uh, you run track? No. Well, uh, what sports do you do in the uh, spring? I do softball. Oh, excellent. Well, congratulations to you on a regional title and then competing today at the Kentucky High School Athletic Association State Cross Country Championship.